Hey, hey, all my game musicians out there. This is DM Nuts's Elbow, and I want to briefly show you guys how, how to get RetroArch to work successfully with OBS, which is a little bit tricky and has been kind of a common problem for for a lot of people here, including myself, which I've been able to find a pretty surprisingly easy fix for. So anyway, I would like to just kind of give a brief tutorial on what exactly is the best method for capturing RetroArch on, on any computer, actually, for that matter. So without further ado, let's actually go to RetroArch itself. Um, let's make sure we open this. It's right now in full screen mode. Let's actually put this in window mode for right now since you know for the sake of, sake of tutorial let's go to obs now you can actually do this in three different methods one i wouldn't highly recommend uh two is probably the best option to do this and third is another another it's, a, it's another good option you can also do but it may be kind of unnecessary um, maybe only if you were to do it in, in windowed mode or something, but, um, but yeah, anyway, you can do this in three different techniques. Um, you can actually, you can do, in order for RetroArch to show up with, with, with OBS, you can do it in either display capture, game capture, or window capture. Now, display capture, I think, is the best method, and we'll get back to this later. Game capture is something I would definitely not recommend. Don't don't use game capture. Don't use game capture at all. It it will crash. RetroArch will crash upon impact if you use this method. It freaks the hell out. It it hates game capture. Don't don't do it. I know because I learned the hard way. I was trying to get a game to work on camera with with using game capture and it just wouldn't really work out. It was it was pretty painful. So just don't use this method. Game capture is not not the best idea. Um you can also do window capture. Now this may be a little bit unnecessary like I said before because we're already in display capture right now and actually if you actually get RetroArch to work, um, it's going to be, it's, it's, if, if you put it in full screen, it's going to work anyhow. But if you, if you want to use window capture and you, you can, you can still use, you can still try to capture RetroArch in this. All you just basically have to do is make a new capture here. And what we have to do, what you have to do here is under window, you just make sure that it's that RetroArch is being recognized by OBS. Window match priority you can ignore. Um, catch, capture method though, this is extremely important. So for this one, make sure that it is set to Windows 10, 1903, and up. Automatic, you're just gonna have a blank black screen like this like what i'm looking at right here now bit bit is also the, the old method's not going to work either so you can just forget about that one windows 10 and up though see there we go and if we just fit the, the screen voila there we go so now it is being recognized by by obs as it is however the only problem I would say with window capture as opposed to just using display capture is if you're playing a game and like let's say you're playing something like like say a Game Boy Color game or something that is um that was designed to handle a certain a certain dimension size that's going to be probably a little bit tedious you have to you would still have to enlarge it in order for it to, and you would, well, I mean, if you were to play it in window mode, if you were to play it in full screen, though, it would, it would probably, it would probably work at any rate, but, so, I mean, window mode will work, though, it will work regardless. Again, you just have to go by the settings that I just showed you, make sure that it's set to Windows 10 and up, and, 
and make sure that's in full screen. However, the other thing you can do is just use display capture. Display capture, I think, is probably just the best way to do this, and you don't really need a <laughs> you don't really need to overcomplicate yourself. So let's make sure that let's make sure that RetroArch is here again. Okay, let's hit Alt Enter. Alt enter, or or if you want to do this just the manual way, go to window and then go to full screen. Okay, so now we're in we're in full screen mode. Let's actually give this a test run here. Let's actually yeah, let's go with Pokemon Yellow. Why not? Let's get the controller up and running. Yep, that looks like the Game Freak logo. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, do we see a sh silhouette of Pikachu? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pikachu is bigger and better than ever. Yeah. He is surfing. Yay. That is so, uh, that's so abnormal. There we go. That should be working like a charm now. So if you guys found this helpful, please, please make a like or... Please make a like, and if you guys have any questions or maybe some compliments, just leave it in the comment section. And if you, if you guys want to see more of my repertoire besides, you know, tutorials like this, which I rarely do, I mean, I'm primarily an LP here, uh, just, just subscribe or, you know, just check out my content. Hope you guys found this helpful. I'll, I'll be seeing ya.